Greetings beautiful beings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Zoltana 7 Sierra Faith and let's fucking jump right in. I felt called to do a heart share today about where I have been as a solo traveler with little to no money, what I have learned, what I would do differently. Let's go. So I have always been fascinated with van life, living a life of freedom, being location free and being able to have an off grid type of lifestyle. And I've been creating that little by little coming into this with like bare bones every single time. You may be familiar with like no builds, like you have your conversion vans that are like fully decked out, a shower, a bed, a kitchen, little kitchenette. Like there's so many different things that you can like have it built in. Um, or you can live a little bit more rogue and have, you know, kind of just your bare essentials, but that's really it. So I first started my serious van life journey with a 2020 CRV and I built a bed. I actually built a bed out of plywood and like created this whole structure inside of it. And I was like, yes, I am doing this. It was such an incredible journey. Here's the thing though. Each time that I have like decided to like do a van life thing, I've always been in Florida and it has always been in like the middle of summer. It always is at, <laughs> like I choose the hottest place on earth practically to uh, one of the hottest places ever and the most humid places to do van life it was not sustainable so not only did i have this issue of like holy crap it's really hot and i'm really sticky and uncomfortable but i also was feeling stressed because i i i was i was i was stretching myself right i what i didn't have any money and i really want to talk about that like i want to i want to get to the main point of like traveling with no money like let's just go there um Traveling with little to no funds is not as bad as it may sound. Granted, you really, really need a backup plan. Like, I feel like where I was living like a year ago, even like in the beginning of the year, I was still in that cycle of traveling with little to no money and be like kind of like being frustrated with that because at first I was okay there was a part of my journey where I was so excited to be living this minimalist experience and I'm like you know can get by on like a hundred dollars a week or something or you know I could get by with kind of like the bare minimum and it was fine because I was spending my time in nature I was connecting to the land me and my dog were going on nature adventures i was meeting cool people i was still being exposed to incredibly like opportune perfect situations always meeting like super freaking cool people like i naturally am the kind of person to like extend myself and say hello and put myself out there or people kind of feel my vibe i kind of you know rocking the rocking the favorite tie-dye here like People could look at me and see like, oh, she's like a hippie gypsy. Like she obviously, you know, she she must like plant medicine or she must, she must like psychedelics or she must, you know, be 420 friendly or something like that. <laughs> it's just like, you know, it's been epic to stretch myself in that way. Um, what I would really do differently, which is kind of like why I've gone back and forth with like, you know, honoring where I've been really with traveling with no funds, but really feeling into how hard it actually was because if I needed something, if there was an emergency that came up, you know, my car broke down this year and I had to spend $2,000 to get it repaired. Like I, but it's so interesting because I have always been provided for and I would love to do a separate video talking about like how miracles have manifested practically out of thin air and how I'm walking away with practically a brand new vehicle for like $15 you know like it is like that so one thing that I really would do differently is take a little bit more time to save up 
but it's not even about the time and it's not so much about the time it's more so just opening the doors giving myself different chances and opportunities to make more money like you know if i had all the clothes and shoes like sell it i'm not gonna be taking it with me like that that's another thing like it definitely is prepare prepare a little bit more the second thing is don't take so much stuff i can't tell you how many times y'all i have like slept on a pile of fucking books and clothes and whatever the hell was laying under me because it was like a makeshift bed because when I would go from one place to the other if I didn't take that time to like reorganize and re-puzzle everything it would just get all thrown in there and I would I, I mean I was seriously rough riding it y'all I don't I look back and I'm just like there's so there's it just shows it shows kind of like my disorganization and my chaos so being on the road you really do need to be organized because you're in such a small space you need to make sure that you kind of have your main essentials with you and leave the rest behind the adventures and the experiences that you're going to have the people that you're going to meet the places you're going to go is far beyond in I feel importance of like anything that you could be carrying so I just really wanted to share that um, if you guys have any questions at all about like what it was like traveling, what exactly, you know, where exactly did I go? What exactly did I do? Like, feel free to ask it below. I just wanted this to be short and sweet today. But if you have any more ideas or anything that you want me to talk about when it comes to travel life, then by all means, drop it below in the comments. Please, as always, go ahead and comment on this video, like, and subscribe if you like me and my energy and you want to join the family. <laughs> Lots of love, mahalo friends, and we'll be talking again soon. Ciao.